In the middle of World War II, 75 years ago this weekend, scientists at the University of Chicago achieved the first nuclear chain reaction. The moment continues to both advance and threaten human life to this day. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli takes a look at how the university is commemor commemorating the milestone. The discovery would change the world forever. But how do you represent it in sculpture? Uh, most ideas aren't simple. And that we should, you know, we all need to struggle to come to terms with what they mean. It's very rare that something is, you know, entirely positive or entirely negative. Or express it in music. The entire subject of the nuclear age is very, very complicated. 75 years ago Saturday, physicist Enrico Fermi and his team at the University of Chicago set the first self-sustaining nuclear reaction into motion, the first step toward nuclear medicine, power, and war. And the site is this site that is so pregnant with meaning. Constructed of 45,000 graphite blocks, the first official nuclear reactor was built under the stands of what was Stag Field. Professor Gusty Reed Thomas composed a piece for a single voice and strings. It's like an onion. You peel one layer back and there's 27 other layers. There are positive things, there are exceptionally good things, there are absolutely horrible things. What we wanted to show was complexity. Architect Zoe Prillinger tied together 241 rubber cords and then let them twist apart. Control, which is this area of the bench, and a loss of control. They'll help mark a milestone many still struggle to comprehend. The reactor was called Chicago Pile, or CP1. Its location on campus here that you see right behind me will serve as the backdrop for a pyrotechnic display on Saturday night. And then starting tomorrow, there will be all sorts of scholarly discussions and panels at the university to commemorate the anniversary. It certainly was a game changer in uh, the yeah. history of the world. Yes, it's a complex issue, as she was saying, but Chicago right there at the forefront. It's always interesting to see how researchers contributed. Right, and uh, that landmark moment continues to either celebrate uh, with us or haunt us even today.